Lady and gentlemen, thank you for watching and welcome to English News of Bing Food Radio Television Station and Newspaper. I'm Wu Nhu with the latest news for today. Bing Food targets 5 billion US dollars in export follows. Bing Food looks to become key cocoa producers. Top leader expresses gratitude to creators of national anthem emblem design. People transform roof into a national flag to celebrate National Day. Building on the successes recorded in 2024 and forecast for 2025, Bing Fu's Department of Industry and Trade has set a number of goals for next year, with key social economic indicators expected to show growth. The department projects total retail sales of goods and consumer services to exceed 91.536 trillion Vietnam dong, marking a 9.6% increase from 2024. Export turnover is anticipated to reach 5 billion US dollars, while import turnover is forecasted at 3.1 billion US dollars, representing year on year growth of 8.7% and 6.7% respectively. The percentage of households with access to electricity is to reach 99.9%, up 1%. In 2025, processed cashew nuts will remain the province's leading export product, accounting for 28% of total export turnover. Big Food aims to export 215,000 tons of cashews, generating 1.4 million US dollars, an increase of 7,000 tons and 115 million US dollars compared to 2024. Other major exports include rubber, with targets set at 775,000 tons and 980 million US dollars, up 100,000 tons and 7 million US dollars and wood and wooden products projected to earn 510 million US dollars, an increase of 35 million US dollars. Experts predict significant growth in the cocoa industry as global interest in high products raises. Vietnam has the potential to become a leading cocoa producer, with Bing Phu particularly well positioned to expand this cocoa cultivation and establish itself as a key supplier for processing and export of the product. Under the Plan 256 of the Bingfu Provincial People's Committee, which aligns the province's crop development strategy by 2030 with a vision to 2050, at least 50% of the area under cashew canopy will adopt a polyculture model by 2030. Cocoa is identified as a suitable intercrop alongside medicinal plants due to the province's favorable conditions. The Provincial Department of Agriculture and Rural Development reports that Bing Phuoc has approximately 183,000 hectares of perennial crops, including cashew, coffee, and various fruit trees, that area ideal for coca intercropping. The province's ample irrigation infrastructure and dense network of rivers, streams, and reservoirs further support the expansion of coca cultivation without the need for additional land. Despite a recent decline in cocoa cultivation due to low yields and uncompetitive prices, the area remains at around 310 hectares, accounting for 6% of Vietnam's total cocoa area. With global supply demand imbalances driving up cocoa prices, there is renewed potential for developing a large-scale, concentrated cocoa-growing region in Bing Phuoc, which could revitalize the province's cocoa industry. In Bunyakami, Foreign District, the introduction of household waste incinerators has significantly improved local waste management practices. Since its implementation in 2023, nearly 100 households in Tân Hiệp One Hamlet have adopted the incinerators. The construction of these eco-friendly initiatives was funded by local government support with residents providing labor. This initiative has changed the way residents approach waste disposal, fostering a greater sense of responsibility for household and community environmental protection. Given the low cost and suitability for small spaces, the model is easily replicable and could play a crucial role in reducing environmental pollution across the province. And now it's time for the top stories around the country. Firstly, we report on recent activities of Party General Secretary and State President Tolam. Party General Secretary and President Tolam 
visited the families of late musician Van Kao and late painter Bui Chan Chuk, who created the national anthem and the national emblem design of Vietnam, on September 2, on the occasion of the 79th anniversary of the August Revolution and the National Day, September 2. Talking to Kao's family, the leader expressed his gratitude to the musicians' enormous dedications to the revolution of Vietnam, affirming that aside from the national anthem, the song of the marching troops, he also composed many other significant works contributing to the great national solidarity. Lum presented Nian Thuy Bang, the musician's wife, with a portrait of late President Ho Chi Minh, and wished her good health to remain a source of support for descendants. Later the same day, General Secretary and President Lum visited the family of late painter Bui Chang Chuk, who designed the national emblem of the Democratic Republic of Vietnam, now the Socialist Republic of Vietnam. He praised Chuk's works, which also included the designs of many sectors orders and logos, saying they were all meticulous, detailed, and attractive, while reflecting his devotion and talent. The leader stressed that, Chuk was one of the outstanding persons among revolution contributors. The national emblem design received high evaluation from the international community and were also important to inspiring the national solidarity. On social media, people in cities and provinces across the country enthusiastically responded to the call to paint their roof into a national flag to celebrate the 79th National Day of Vietnam. Around the end of July, the idea of painting the Vietnam flag on the roof emerged on social media and quickly gained traction. Numerous families across the country have meticulously painted the national flag on their home. Several families have used the red roof that was already there, drew a star shape using a tape measure, and painted the star shape yellow to create the national flag on their roof. It not only makes the roof stand out, but it additionally showcases people's appreciation of patriotism and pride in their country. More than a trend, it is patriotism. Many people have shared this and encouraged others to participate in. Vietnamese retailers are speeding up their efforts to develop green and sustainable brands to secure their position on domestic and international markets. Vietnam's retail market valued at over 142 billion US dollars is projected to reach 350 billion US dollars by 2025 consumers are more in favor of high quality products vietnam's engagement in a number of bilateral and multilateral free trade agreements have expanded market opportunities for local enterprises the country's national brand has also surpassed 100% growth from 2019 to 2023. In 2023, Vietnam's brand value topped 498 billion US dollars, up over 15% year on year, ranking 33rd out of the 121 countries evaluated. Despite these achievements, many businesses share that developing green trade is the biggest challenge because transitioning to sustainable production requires substantial investments in technology, infrastructure, and workforce training. As sustainability and cultural tourism gain popularity among both domestic and international visitors, young Vietnamese individuals are embracing this trend. Vietnam boasts 32 UNESCO-recognized World Heritage items, including five cultural heritage sites, 24 intangible cultural heritage elements and documentary heritage items, alongside over 40,000 relic sites, nearly 10,000 of which are classified at the municipal and provincial level. In recent years, Vietnam has consistently been highly rated in various international tourism rankings and awards. Vietnam won the titles of Top Asia Destination and Top Asia Destination for Heritage, Culture and Cuisine by the World Travel Awards for consecutive years from 2018 to 2020. In 2023, Vietnam was again named Top Asia Destination for Heritage, Culture and Cuisine. Sung Mi Phin, a young Hmong ethnic man from the northern mountainous province of Ha Zong, has given up his stable job as a teacher to run his own homestay business although it was a hard nut for him at that time. Meanwhile, 
youngers from the communications team of Huo Law Prison Special Historical Relic Site have shown their love for the nation's intangible heritage in a different way. With support from revolutionary veterans, former political prisoners, and historical witnesses, the team has helped visitors gain impressive experiences and understand more about the past. It can be said that young people engaging in cultural tourism plays a significant role in promoting national cultural values. Their involvement also enhances the diversity and appeal of tourism products and services. That was 10 minutes of PVTV News. To watch the news again, you can download PVTV Go or visit our website and YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.